Hello, I welcome all of you to the Apes Koli YouTube channel. Today I brought you a lesson from grade 9 which is called Axioms. It may be very important to join all the other students who are in grade 10 and grade 11. Okay, let's go to the lesson. Statements which are considered to be self-evident and are accepted without proof are called axioms. In this lesson, we learn 5 common axioms. You can see the word quantity in every statement. By quantities, we usually mean lengths, areas, volumes and etc. Okay, let's learn these axioms one by one. Axiom number 1. Quantities which are equal to the same quantity are equal. Let's explain this from an example. In this, A equal B and A equal C. Then you can see all these quantities are equal to each others. Therefore, we can say quantity B is equal to quantity C. Furthermore, this axiom can be explained from day-to-day -day example. According to this example, Nimal Sage is equal to Sunil Sage and also both Nimal and Kamal are in same age. Imagine Nimal is 20 years old, then Sunil is also 20 years old. Due to Nimal is 20 years old, then Kamal is also 20 years old. According to axiom number 1, we can get all of these are in same age. So Sunil's age should be equal to Kamal's age. Let's see how we should apply this axiom number 1 in calculations. In the triangle ABC, AB equal AC and AB equal BC. If AC equal 5 cm, then determine the perimeter of the triangle ABC. When solving the questions, we should give the attention to given data. According to this question, AB equal AC and AB equal BC. Now you can see both AC and BC sides are equal to AB side. So accordingly, to axiom number 1, we can say all the axioms are equal. In this question, they have given that AC equal 5 cm. Therefore, we can say all the sides have 5 cm length. To find the perimeter of the triangle, we should add lengths of all three sides. So, we can get 15 cm as the answer. Then we move to first question of exercise number 7.1 in your textbook. The straight line AB and CD intersect at X. In the figure, angle DXB is equal to BXY. If angle AXC is equal to 70 degrees, then find the magnitude of the angle BXY. According to given data, angle DXP is equal to BXY and you can see both DXB and AXC angles are vertically opposite angles. Now you can see both BXY and AXC angles are equal to DXB angle. According to axiom number 1, angle AXC is equal to angle BXY. In the question, it has given that AXC is equal to 70 degrees. 
since bxy is equal to axc you can get the magnitude of bxy as 70 degrees axiom number 2 quantities which are obtained by adding equal quantities to equal quantities are equal according to example both a and b quantities are equal therefore the answers will be same when adding c to both a and b we can write this axiom as given below let's take as x equal y and p equal q then x plus p is equal to y plus q Okay, let's do the first question of exercise number 7.2 by using axiom number 2. The point O is located on the side xy of the triangle xyz such that OZ is equal to OY. Show that xy is equal to OZ plus OX. According to this, OZ and OY sides are equal. According to axiom number 2, OZ plus OX should be equal OY plus OX. As you can see, XY will get when adding both OY and OX. Due to OZ plus OX is equal to OY plus OX, we can write OZ plus OX on behalf of OY plus OX. Then we can get OZ plus OX is equal to XY as the answer. Axiom number 3. Quantities which are obtained by subtracting equal quantities from equal quantities are equal. According to example A equal B we can write a minus c is equal to b minus c this can be explained according to second example you can see x equal y and p equal q then x minus p is equal to y minus q Now read the first question of exercise number 7.3. The points A and B are located on the line XY such that XB is equal to AY. If XY is equal to 16 cm and BY is equal to 6 cm, find the length of AB. XB equal AY has been given. According to axiom number 3, we can write xb minus ab is equal to ay minus ab. When subtracting, that we can write as xa is equal to by. Also, questions has given that by is equal to 6 cm. Therefore, xa should be equal to 6 cm. As you can see, the straight line xy has been separated into three parts such as xa, xb and by. You can write xa plus ab plus by is equal to xy. When substitute the given values, we can write as below. To simplify this, we have to keep ab in right side. To solve this, we have to subtract 12 from both sides so you can see in here we also used axiom number 3 then we get the answer as ab equal 4 centimeters
axiom number 4 products which are equal quantities multiplied by equals are equal now you can see quantity a is equal to quantity b therefore the answers which are both a and b multiplied by c are equal so we can write as ac equal bc okay let's solve the question by using axiom number 4 take a look at first question of exercise number 7.4 The square A B C D and the rhombus P Q R S are such that A B equal P Q. First question. Using axiom number four, show that the perimeter of the square A B C D is equal to the perimeter of the rhombus P Q R S. Okay, let's find the perimeter of both plane figures. When multiplying a side length of a square by four. we can get the perimeter of abcd because all the side of square are equal as well as all the sides of rhombus are equal we can get the perimeter by multiplying side length by 4 then we can write the perimeter of the square abcd and rhombus pqrs are 4ab and 4pqr respectively AB equal PQ is a given data. According to axiom number four, answers which are both AB and PQ multiplied by four are equal. Therefore, four AB equal four PQ. So you can see four AB is the perimeter of square ABCD and four PQ is the perimeter of rhombus PQRS. Therefore we can write the perimeter of the square ABCD is equal to the perimeter of rhombus PQRS Now look at the second part of the question If AB equal 7 cm find the perimeter of the rhombus PQRS We obtained as 4PQ is equal to 4AB which means both square and rhombus has equal perimeter so we can find the perimeter of pqrs rhombus by substituting 7 cm for ab it is equal to 4 into 7 and the answer is 28 so we get 28 as the perimeter of pqrs rhombus axiom number 5 quantities which are equal quantities divided by non zero equals are equal in this case non zero means the values which are not equal to zero according to example a equal b when dividing both a and b by c are equal Now read the second question of exercise number 7.4. In the triangle ABC, angle BAX equal angle XAY and it is equal angle CAY. In the pentagon KLMNO, angle MON is equal to angle LOM and it is equal to angle KOL. If angle BAC is equal to angle KON, first question, show that angle XAY is equal to angle MOL. Okay, let's consider the triangle ABC. As you can see, angle BAC is consisted with angle BAX, XAY, and angle CAY. According to the question, these three small angles have same magnitude so we can get the magnitude of angle bac multiplying small angle xay by 3 similarly angle kon of pentagon klmno is considered with angle mon 
M O L and K O L therefore we can get the angle of K O L by multiplying angle M O L by 3 then we can write angle KON is equal to 3 times MOL according to the question angle BAC of the triangle is equal to angle KON of the pentagon on behalf of angle BAC and angle KON we can write 3 times XAY angle and 3 times MOL angle respectively 3 times xay angle is equal to 3 times mol angle according to axiom number 5 when dividing both sides by 3 we get same answers then we obtain xay angle is equal to mol angle as the answer read the second part of the question If angle XAY is equal to 30 degrees determine the magnitude of angle KON according to question angle XAY is equal to 30 degrees from above proof we have proved that angle XAY is equal to angle MOL therefore angle MOL is also 30 degrees similarly We have proved that angle KON is equal to 3 times angle MOL. When substituting 30 degrees on behalf of MOL, we get 90 degrees as the magnitude of KON angle. Okay we just came to last part of the lesson for the applications of axioms in algebra 3x plus 4 is equal to 19 to find the value of x we have to move other terms except x from the side which has x to displace plus 4 we have to subtract 4 from both sides in this case we have used axiom number 3 which is subtracting equal quantities from equal quantities are equal then we get 3x equal 15 to remove 3 from x we have to divide both terms by 3 using axiom number 5 then we get the answer as x equal 5 let's solve another question 2 into within bracket y minus 3 is equal to 14 first of all we have displaced 2 by using axiom number 5 then we have to divide both sides from 2 then we get the answer as y minus 3 is equal 7 to remove minus 3 we add plus 3 to both sides by using axiom number 2 then y will remain on the left side and we get the answer as y equal 10 Okay now you can solve all the other questions by yourself If you are stuck with any question right away you can comment below and still you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel click that red subscribe button now So see you again from an another video Thank you